We've got a great matchup here, folks. A very interesting matchup in the Mighty Dagon versus representing one half of the loggers against Remy Marcel representing the poppers. This is a singles match, ladies and gentlemen. Both these men have yet to have singles encounters here in All Aggression Pro. Looks like Remy's trying to show a little sportsmanship here. Uh, could be a tactic, could be legit. You know, I wonder if uh, the Mighty Dagon's gonna fall for it. See what happens. This match came through when Remy Marcel challenged the Mighty Dagon that's here. Fair. That's a cover and a two count. As I was saying, Otis, Remy Marcel went to the dead game fight school and challenged the Mighty Dagon while he was training. Just the Mighty Dagon by himself. Yeah, you know, you know I, I caught wind of that immediately. You know, word flies fast here in all aggression. The second I heard it, booked it, made it happen. They get what they want. The fans get what we want. I, I don't know what's up with Remy challenging by himself. He might have something up his sleeve. We'll have to find out. He is accompanied by VA Hampton and Seven, so watch out for them on the outside. Yeah, anytime you get those poppers out here and you get more than one of them around that ring, anything's liable to happen. These guys, I, I, I hate the poppers. The Mighty Dagon flying solo here without Lumberjack Manley. He will not have Lumberjack Manley to back him up here. As the, as the mighty Dag is getting the early advantage on Remy Marcel just by the handshake. Looks like he's crushing his palm there. I don't know what you call that move. The loggers and the poppers have a long history here in All Aggression Pro. This matchup also kind of came about as the poppers actually eliminated the loggers in the survivor tag matches. You may remember Otis Cutter, but they hooked the tights and pinned the loggers. You may remember, how could I forget, Pez? It was the most infamous tight hooking of all time. It just made The be. poppers or the loggers? No, I don't buy it. Nobody buys the it. The mighty tag and definitely get, wants to get retribution for those dirty tactics displayed in that survivor tag match as he is looking to take out his aggression on Remy Marcel. Here's an Irish whip, Remy Marcel. Oh man, the Dagon coming off the ropes. Wow. Mighty Dagon with a huge shoulder bar. Wow. And a big ax handle, big elbow. Mighty Dagon on fire here early on. Re Remy wants nothing with the Mighty Dagon. He's out of that ring, he's hiding. Mighty Dagon looking very good in solo competition thus far. You know, you know I, I tell you, I, I've wondered, you know, how either, you know, single poppers or single loggers would do in a match, like, you know, by themselves. And I so mean, far, I'm not disappointed. Very interesting. I mean, as we said, neither man will have their tag partners to rely on. Mighty Dagon will not have Lumberjack Manley at ringside to watch his now, back. But Remy Marcel does have VA Hampton at seven to watch his back. Exactly. They're at ringside, and now the Mighty Dagon and Remy themselves are at ringside as they've taken it to the outside. They're over near the bar area here at Club Filter. Remy Marcel back in the ring. Looking to get the edge on the Mighty Dagon. He couldn't get it. Missed the big elbow there. That could oh, cost him. Chop on the outside. Mighty Dagon, this is what he's good at, Otis Cutter. He likes to brawl. We know they can yeah. brawl. He loves to brawl and he loves to chop. And we are here in this, this club, this bar room. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, oh my goodness! My gosh, was that? Wow! Was that He's, the awful waffle? I what mean, that, that one went right through the Abercrombie and, and Fitch polo shirt. He's gonna have a handprint on his chest. But he, he's not letting it stop him. They're right over here in front of us, Pez. They're right uh, here in front of our announcer. No, nobody's safe. Oh, look out! Remy, look out! They're right in front of us. What are you doing? Remy up here? Marcel's here in front of the announcer's table. Look out! Cross Bonnie! Dagger caught him. The mighty Dagger! Oh, oh man! Right into the ring post. The ring post, the camera just does not do it justice, ladies and gentlemen. That ring shifted about four feet off its axis. Remy Marcel took a chance there with the cross. Wait a minute, he's up on the bar. Remy's on the bar, ladies and gentlemen. I think I saw this in a Western movie, Otis Cutter. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what you want to call this, but they've gone up to the bar, on the bar, off the bar. He just slid him across the bar. I mean, I think that's straight out of a John Wayne movie, Otis Cutter. People are pulling drinks, they're stepping back, they're jumping up on chairs. Nobody's safe here I mean, at all. They better get out of the way. It's the Mighty Dagon is showing no mercy on Remy Marcel. They're finally back in the ring. Absolutely. What an exchange there. First, the crossbody off the stage. Mighty Dagon was able to catch and just drag Remy Marcel right across the bar here at Club Filter. Yeah, you know, I, I like where uh, Remy Marcel was going with that, though. His head was in the right place. He's trying to use his weight to his advantage over someone who's a much larger opponent. Such as the mighty Dagon. I believe you need his speed to his advantage, Jonas Speed, Gunner. weight coming down out of the air. You know what I'm saying. He was Man. just trying to do something painful. Remy Marcel just cut off the mighty Dagon with a huge leaping forearm shot. 
as he's going to try to take control after that exchange on the outside. What an exchange. I don't think we've ever seen like that. Anything like that in All Aggression Pro. I haven't seen anything like that, and I haven't seen anything like that giant leaping stomp we just witnessed for ourselves. Right to the heart. Look out here. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Remy's going to distract referee Josh Rickers. And I believe VA took a cheap shot on the outside now, of the mighty What deck. does Remy need to talk to the ref for in the corner here? What's he telling him about what he had for dinner last night? Yeah, he's this probably asking him what kind of clothes Come he's got on, on ref, or something. get out of there. What's the deal here? VA had to take in cheap shots on the mighty dag, and Remy Marcel's going to capitalize. Drops an elbow right across the esophagus. Caving in Here's a window. cover. Cover two. Popping his collar while pinning the Mighty Dagon is a very bad idea. Remy Marcel, B.A. Hampton at 7, all upset about that cover. It may have been a little slow there from Josh Rutgers. But nevertheless, the Mighty Dagon with a chin breaker. What a jaw breaker by the Mighty Dagon. Hits the ropes. Oh, man, what an elbow. Turns him inside out. A spinning back elbow from Remy Marcel, again, showing his lightning quickness. Mighty Dagon looked like one of the Power Rangers just taking a shot from Goldar there. Two, another near fall for Remy Marcel. Remy needs to jump on top of those covers whenever he gets the chance. You know, he, he just can't leave the Mighty Dagon laying. He's, he's got to hook that leg. He's got to lock in a strong cover. I mean, the Mighty Dagon, again, is not in a tag team right here in this matchup, but he's still a very tough man to beat, very tough man to put down for that three count. Remy Marcel's going to have to pull everything out of his arsenal. He's throwing some pretty wicked chops, but they do not seem to be affecting Mighty Dag. The Mighty Dag is just shrugging him off. Oh man, just cuts him off. I think that was a thumb to the eye. I believe it was a thumb to the eye. And a kick to the shin from the Mighty Dagon. Clothesline. Make it two. Huge clotheslines. Two in a row there. Look out here. TKO from the Mighty Dagon. Just drops him. What's I mean, seven doing up on the semi, apron here? Seven's up on the apron. The queen of aggression looking to cause a little trouble here. She goes to slaps. I think the Mighty Dag is going to take care of seven once and for all here on his cutter. You know, I hope so. I've, oh, oh, he's just kissing. He just kissed seven. He did, she just got to kiss from a logger. A popper just got kissed by a logger? I, mean, I think the hell just froze over on his cutter. Oh, Mighty oh Lariat. The God. Mighty Lariat. One, two, three, it's over. It's a huge clothesline does it for the Mighty Dagon. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Cascade, Alaska, the Mighty Dagon. The Mighty Dagon picks up a huge victory in singles competition with the Mighty Lariat.